Congratulations, Mike Lowe. Thanks, Mike. Illinois congressional delegation showing rare bipartisan support for the strike. Democratic Representative Brad Schneider calling the reaction measured, but like Senator Duckworth, he wants a more comprehensive plan from the Trump administration for moving forward in war-torn Syria. We caught up with Schneider earlier this afternoon. Well, look, I think it is in, in, important to, to the point of vital that uh, not just the United States, but the international community stand up to Syria and make it clear to Syria and to anyone other, any other uh, individual or, or government that is considering the use of chemical weapons that uh, it will not be allowed and, and we will not let it stand. I think the military strike last night that went after uh, the very specific air base from which the attacks in Syria during the week uh, were launched uh, was, was appropriate and, and measured. You, know, you had a, a, an attack. Uh, Syria understands the United States sent them a, a clear indication that we are not going to sit idly by while Assad uh, uses chemical weapons on his own people. Uh, Bashar al-Assad is demonstrated a willingness to do that. It is a war crime. He has committed many war crimes in the six-year civil war. And so I think this was an important statement. That said, I think it is um, critical that the president, President Trump, uh, share with Congress uh, a, a clearly articulated comprehensive strategy to address and achieve what our goals are in Syria. So he needs to state the goals. He needs to state the, the strategy. And Congress has a responsibility to weigh in. Uh, I think it's important for the president to come to Congress for uh, an authorization uh, for further use of military force. And Congressman Schneider also said no matter what happens next, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad needs to be held accountable. You know, I think there's reason to be concerned by a lot of the things uh, President Trump said before he was president, since he's been, been president. I was very uh, concerned by the Secretary of State's cavalier attitude towards the, the events in Syria. We all should be very clear, there's not a, a military solution to the six-year civil war in Syria, a, a war in which uh, uh, nearly half the population has been displaced. displaced. 500,000 people have been killed. Uh, war crimes have, have been the, the norm, not, not the uh, unusual exception. But it's going to be a political solution that will bring Syria to a, to a better place. Uh, what we, we should be trying to do and need to be working to do, uh, the United States working with the international community, is changing the calculus of both sides, uh, that they understand that they will not achieve a military, bringing them to the table uh, for a political solution. A political solution that, in my mind, does not include uh, opportunity for Assad to remain in power, but more importantly, a, a requirement that Assad will be held to account. Now, many local Syrian Americans...